Firstly, what's the problems if we stop the aging process? There are many research surveys in America and they show the same thing. And in the, I think in Europe the same. If you say, do you think it's right that drug companies um, develop ways to stop the tick-tock of the clock in human beings? They say, um, no. If you say, if there was a way to slow down the aging process, would you like to try it? <laughs> and they say, yes, but just make sure you don't tell my neighbors about it. <laughs> okay? So the universal thought is we all want to live longer, healthy, active lives. So long as it's the Duracell effect. You know Duracell batteries, they stay full power and then they die, like that. What they don't want is that. Okay? So if, if medicine can push the Duracell effect further and give you five more years of, of active life, then they say yes. But they are very worried about everyone else getting it um, because of this issue. Now, actually, everyone else is getting it. Um, and uh, life expectancy is already growing rapidly, as you know. Um, and it connects with wealth. Um, who here works for a bank? Did you, which bank do you work with? HBOS. HBOS, wonderful. Did you know that because you work for HBOS, I can automatically add five years on to your life expectancy? <laughs> Why is that? Because it puts you in the upper socio-demographic group. And straight away, you are a different kind of person. And it means you will get less in your annuity plan when you try to get your pension. Because the pension company knows you're going to live nearly forever. Because you're well-educated. <laughs> it's just a fact. There are many people in the world who are the same age as you, born in the same city, who will die 20 years younger for various social reasons. So wealth is deeply connected to these inequalities, and that process will continue. Um, you'll, uh, and, and this has profound effects. How old? Can I ask how old you are? Uh, 34. 34. Where were you born? In Germany. Germany. Um, 34, Germany. Um, your life expectancy, according to the German government, is um, 45 more years. 79, 80. Actually, 46, 47 years. Let's round it up to 50, shall we? Uh, uh, but actually, we add five more years on because you are at this conference. <laughs> <laughs> it's a medical fact. If you are here, you have five more years to live. Okay? Because you are in the upper socio-demographic group. So we give you 55. Um, and then we have to look at what medicine will do between now and then. And we know that innovation is doubling every six weeks. So we know that uh, most of the innovation we see in science will happen in the last three years of your life. Um, put your hands up if you think we could give him an extra five years. If medical science could give him an extra five years in the next 30 years, somehow. Okay, how much you... Now, with 60 years we've got. Oh, that's good. So in 30 years' time, we've still got 20 more years of life. On average for him. That means for some of his friends, it will be 30. Never mind. 20 years average. Put your hands up if you think in the following 20 years, we might be able to find another five years to give him. Oh, so you've just given him, now we've got up to 65 more years now. What's the date today? Do the maths. How long does that take you? Is that 2073? 2073? It gives you a life expectancy of 100, which is probably about right. I hope you've got a good pension plan. Who's going to pay for you? You are. Why is that? Well, the days of retiring at the age of 55 are so silly. The only people I know who retire at the age of 55 are either dead by the time they're 60 or they get bored. They've been around the world five times in the first 24 months and what do they do? They start playing golf, they get bored of that. And then they start to innovate. They start to create new businesses. Or they give me even more time away, which is also work. Whether you're paid for it or whether you're not. They go and work for the Red Cross, they go and work for um, um, uh, uh, the World Economic Forum, they do anything to do something that they believe will make the world a better place, or they just earn some money. Do you have to do it full time at the age of 70? No, because he's got quite a lot of money already saved. Would he enjoy to work? Would you enjoy to work from 70 to 78, one day a week, if someone offered you a nice piece of consulting in your old company? 
Maybe. Maybe yes. My grandmother worked as a doctor until she was 82. Why? Because she just loved it so much. She just did one day a week, um, and, uh, and she played golf in the afternoons. So I'm just saying, be ready for a change. My grandmother was a sign of the future, a sign of a generation of people who actually enjoy what they do, and they, uh, and they will continue to raise income for themselves much longer than you imagine. Because, you see, you are... 10 to 15 years younger than your parents were at the same age. Right? You're probably 20 to 25 years younger than your grandparents were at the same age. If you had a grandfather who stopped working when he was 60, then perhaps you will stop working fully when you're 85. And you say, I don't want to work that long. We'll get there. I think you probably will. Because actually, being retired is so boring. So, um, so I think you will find this whole thing, uh, these whole stages of life get elongated and stretched. Yes, you want to jump back at me. It what we had in the past. Well, in the past there was no retirement. Uh, someone who worked the land would work the land until the day they died and live a very healthy life. And the idea of retirement is a late 20th century idea which is, should be quickly buried just like it was before. <coughs> but okay. one of the issues which is raised by longevity is, of course, more and more the inequalities get worse. Yes. And therefore the potential for social unrest, Absolutely. political problems, yeah. terrorism, and all the rest of it yeah. gets much more magnified. Yeah. That's right. And at the bottom of the social scale, you get people who are cleaning toilets at the age of 80. And that is happening. Um, and uh, so we need to be mindful of these. Okay.